Hey guys, I'm Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about she codes. I know I've talked about this freaking workshop like in every video I have because it's like taken over my life for the last year, but today is really exciting because I actually have this video sponsored by she codes. Now that I have so many reviews, I'm pretty sure I'm like one of like two people who've been reviewing these classes on YouTube. And I watched like my old video, the one that was like my first review and I had like a retainer in, my my camera was like off my little like actual computer, I didn't have a separate camera, I was like oh my god. <laughs> and it was like 7,000 views and I was like I'm so embarrassed that 7,000 people watched that video. Like I was nerding out hardcore, I even wore my University of Portland shirt because it's purple and she goes it's purple and I was wearing it in the last video. But uh, anyway, besides the point, this video is to go over SheCodes Responsive, which is the third class. So I have them up on the screen here so you're not like super confused because you'll see me keep posting them and it's because I keep I keep taking the classes. Like it's an addiction. I'm like, it's like Pokemon cards. Like I want to I wanna get all the certificates. Like it's really become that level. But the fact that I've been able to do this while maintaining like an engineering full-time position and job is kind of insane. So here are the workshops here. Basics. I'll link all my reviews below, but basics was um, basically an introduction to CSS, JavaScript, um, and HTML. And it was only three weeks, five hours a week, and, and they, they stay true to that. It really is five hours a week. I spent most of my weekends doing this. And then um, we had She Codes Plus, which I think was the hardest. So basics was great. She Codes Plus was the hardest because it was eight weeks and it was like intense because you did API calls, you did all kinds of stuff. And then now I did she Codes, she Codes Responsive, which basically I had no idea going into the class. If you watch my like first impressions of the class, I clearly did not understand what responsive meant. I'm like, cool, like I don't know what responsive means. Apparently it's responsive like your like your code will change. So you have the code so that way when you, when you compress the website to a, like a phone, it still looks good. I did not grasp that concept, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this responsive class having no idea that that was what I was gonna be learning. But it's okay, because now I know. And so that is the class that I took. I think this one was the most fun of the three because you're building a profile website rather than like this one you built a weather app and this one you built like a web page basically for like whatever topic you liked, but this one was more fun because it was about you. And it was like a website that you could totally carry on with yourself, like later on past this this workshop. So I think this was the most fun and it had, like the homework was working on your personal website. So it didn't feel like you had to actually do homework. Um, it was nice. So like 10 out of 10 on the She Codes Responsive one. If you finish Basics and Plus, definitely do Responsive. It's totally worth it because then you're, your stuff looks good on your phone. Because I noticed when I sent my example projects to people for the SheCodes Plus, it was like all wonky on the phone. I'm like, well, shit, it doesn't look so good. I was like, open it on your computer. <laughs> but this one was super fun and I'll show you the project that I finished. And then I will be taking SheCodes React. Um, they're quite spendy, so just be, be wary of that. Um, the first one is $99, the second, the second one, which is that eight week one, which I think is the hardest, was $7.49, which is like, oh my gosh, like that's a lot of money. Even for like somebody who has a full-time job, like, I, I, like I'm feeling pretty good about cash flow right now, but $700, holy crap. But what, sometimes they go on sale for like National Women's Day and like Black Friday. And I know Black Friday is coming up, so like watch it because it, it will go down and I think I got it for about like 500. So definitely look for Black Friday sales. Um, and then the other two are significantly less, but still, you know, they're not super cheap, but that's what I like about them because you know it's gonna be quality because you're not spending like $5.99 for a Udemy class you're never gonna take. And um, the best part about SheCodes is that you enroll on a day. So if you look right here, I need to enroll in one of these days, but you start on a day and you have to finish on the day that you're supposed to finish. And so it's live. It's the classes aren't live, like you can take the classes at any time of the day and they're pre-recorded, but the homework is due, like somebody checks your homework. So you have to turn it in. And that's what I like, it's like flexibility, but enough pressure 
to keep you forced to finish. Like I have had a million Udemy classes and I've only finished like two or three and that was out of like pure determination. But here it's so easy to finish because it's like you have homework, you have a support system, you have somebody reviewing your homework, you have solution videos, like it's not as uh, scary and you can't really put it off because it's a do, right? So that's to give you a little rundown on the she codes and how they work and how the workshops work. And I will show you, I showed you in the first impressions, but just to go over this completely, um, you go in here and you start with like a lesson, right? So let's just, let's just pick one for fun. You get a learn where you watch a video. Usually it's like 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 20, um, a challenge which is then like basically a challenge or base what you're learning. And then you submit your solution. And then once you submit it, you get a solution video, which is really nice. So they, he walks you through exactly how to, how to do the solution. And then at the end, you have homework at the end of the week. So each one of these, you have a little challenge and then a homework at the week, at the end of the week. So it's really nicely structured. The interface is super clean, super smooth, obviously, because it's a coding class. I would hope their, <laughs> their website coding, their website code is, is nice and user friendly. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about this class. And uh, like I said, you're, you're building a profile for yourself. So if you walk through here, it's all building up to your profile. And then at the very end, you're supposed to submit your profile. So let's let me walk you through what I made. So here it is. Um, this is host on Netlify, which he talks about in the class. And it's just like a makeup name because you're not paying anything for it. But here it is. We have, it's just Liz, you know, I'm trying to brand my YouTube channel and stuff. So I have like my projects, which you can click on. And it goes to my projects that I'm working on, you know, my She Codes courses, YouTube channel. I got a home page, I have an about page, I have a contact page, stuff like that. And, and the cool thing is you also, I have it responsive. So if we go like this here and you see how like it gets smaller and it and then it pops out of it. See that? That's what they meant by responsive. I'm so embarrassed that I did not know what that meant. Um, but anyway, this is was my final project and I'm very excited about it because now I have the building blocks and now I'm gonna spend my time just kind of like tweaking it and changing and messing with the CSS to make it a little prettier and maybe do the format a little different and link to other pages that I haven't built yet. Like I, I haven't built out my book page or my construction page. But this was the final project. And it's kind of cool because now I can send this out to people and be like, hey, look what I made. Um, but it's definitely one of the, the better she codes classes there are, but I'm so glad you have to take the basics and um, the plus. So otherwise you're not really gonna get like the foundation. <laughs> I just don't think it's possible. And now that I finished class three, my goal of taking these classes wasn't to get a job as a front end developer, although you can do that route. Um, and it would be kind of fun to do a couple interviews to see if I even could do it. But uh, it was to build a website, right? Like the whole challenge was see if I could learn how to code in a year or eight weeks or however long, and then try to force myself to create a website because I wanted to um, create the website, but I didn't want to do it on like, you know, those website generators like Wix and Square Squarespace. I wanted to really like have the, um, what do they call it? The clout or the street cred of doing it yourself, knowing that you coded it yourself. So that was really the goal here, but I'm super excited about this. Uh, how I took notes is I actually use Notion. So you can see right here, I did all my classes I take in here, but here's where I took my notes. I'll link Notion below and I actually need to update this cause I'm actually done. So we'll tag that as completed. I have the topic who the person was, how much it costs me, you know, a couple things here. I have, you can code it within Notion, which is the best part because you can throw in some HTML and stuff. And uh, you can also embed pictures um, and all that stuff. So you can kind of see my notes on my class, but uh, nothing too crazy, just links to things and, and code. But that's how I ended up taking notes on the class. And I did that in the other classes too. So no surprise there, I did that for, for she codes plus as well but it's kind of nice because i can track when i finished these classes and i have a nice set of notes that i can go back and and check so uh that is how i took notes but overall like i would say 
th these coding workshops are working. Like I have seriously actually learned how to code by taking these. And um, you just have to f find a slot of time. I've been doing, I haven't been doing the 20 hour. I've been doing the three, eight, and the five so far because I obviously I have a job. Um, so I don't have time to work on this all day, but I, I mean, I recommend this to a lot of people and a lot of people have been asking me questions about notes and, you know, how are the classes, but so far, like it is working. So I'm going to take React next. So look forward to that one and I will see you guys next time.